Alright everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a Department 56 Crow Creek Covered Bridge. Let's get into it. Okay, at the top of the video here, I want to send a shout out to Weffy's Closet for being an awesome sponsor to the channel. You can go there and check out all your jewelry needs, including men's jewelry, couples jewelry, women's jewelry, all that stuff. It's an awesome website. Go to Weffy'sCloset.com and use code Mike10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Okay, so before we get going here, I just want to mention one little quick setup tip about this piece. Uh, obviously, everything is basically fully assembled, but when you open it up, you are going to find a couple compartments that have two halves of the bridge on one side and then the main bridge itself, and then, of course, your power supply. There's really no assembly. You just pull them out, put one on each side, you're good to go. But I did want to note that, uh, and they are universal, by the way. I had no trouble putting one on one side or one on the other side, so that was really cool. I like that to have that universal tile Thing God, I hope that's the right word. But anyway, I did want to note that. So, all right. So it was released in 2013, and the SKU number is 4030784. Now for some dimensions. It is 4.72 inches high by 5.51 inches wide and 7.87 inches long. So those dimensions don't sound huge necessarily, but in person, guys, this thing really is big. I, you know, the dimensions make it sound smaller than it is, let me tell you, but really, guys, this thing is good size. The product type would be a lighted accessory, and as far as what it's made of, it feels to me to be like a ceramic, you know, porcelain kind of thing, uh, but there was no exact info listed on the site for that, but that would be my best guess. Now, let's talk power. Uh, like most Department 56 stuff, it's going to take 2C batteries for a total of 3 volts DC. Your battery pack is included, but it does have the option for a power supply if you choose to do so. Uh, like I've mentioned in my other Department 56 video, if you're like me and don't have any other power supplies but a bunch of Lamax ones, if you do have one that's 3 volt, sometimes they will actually just fit by themselves, but for those that don't, I've had a couple that do, a couple that don't. Uh, if they don't, there is a video on my channel about how you can watch them to your battery pack and stuff like that to get it all working it's kind of like a work away or work around rather but it works well been using it for years and uh, specifically I believe I used it on this piece forever and ever so okay as far as an on and off switch that of course will be located on your battery pack now let's talk price the original price for this was about $65 and they're going for about 80 now so just keep an eye out, you know, I'm sure you can probably find one somewhere for that $60 range, but uh, at least at the time of filming this video, the ones that I could find were roughly $80. Okay, so that wraps up the finer details. Now let's take a look at why this thing is as great as I claim that it is. So here we go. Starting from the top, you are going to see a very highly detailed roof that has these accent like grayish green kind of highlights in it that really help sell that age thing uh, as well as there's some really cool holes in the roof that when you're looking down on this thing the lights just beautifully shine through and there's also a few crows up there because come on I mean the name the crows you know all that kind of thing so that was cool to see as well uh, as we work our way down this thing is really long and how I had to shoot it, it's gonna be kind of weird so I might be skipping around to different sections on this but just kind of go with it because again it's kind of long and hard to shoot all in one shot so here we go uh, the sides you are gonna notice what makes this really one of my favorite details the department 56 does their wood details are fantastic, whether it's the billboard, this piece, and many, many others out there. Their detailing in their wood is super realistic. Uh, anyways, and then the windows. I love that they're kind of like busted out wood chunks because at night, and you'll see this when I turn off the lights a little bit later, it is just like, wow. The way that that light comes through, and they chose a beautiful blue LEDs inside. Like, it's just... I, it's hard to explain it, it, you know, on camera here, but let me tell you, I use this piece pretty much every year, and it's for that signature blue effect that it gives both around it and on the sides and everywhere you look, the top. It's just fantastic. Okay, so a few more things that I do want to cover. Next up would be the name of the bridge itself and the wonderful sign that hangs on each side. Well, it technically doesn't hang, but you know what I mean. Anyway, it says Crow's Creek Covered Bridge. It is just really cool, and what I like about this particularly 
is that they were able to theme the sign to fit the bridge really well. Like they really sold that old, fallen apart, decrepit, spooky bridge. So you get one of those on each side. That's really neat. Also, some other signage that you're going to notice on the end of each side of the bridge. And again, I'm going to do my best to kind of show you all this. Uh, but anyways, on the end of each side, there are going to be uh, little attachment pieces that we talked about earlier. And they are completely universal. But anyways, uh, I want to talk about what they actually say. So they're really cool because they're detailed. They have a little lead up to the bridge itself. And again, it, with Department 56, there's always something of quality to see. So uh, on one side, you're going to have one that says, all persons are warned, keep off this bridge. And then the other side is going to say, no trespassing, keep off this bridge. Both with this really nice little chain. You know, you can see that it's really old that the chain is actually falling on the ground with the sign now. But nonetheless, really cool. Okay, so the next thing I want to cover is the inside of the bridge itself. And again, you know, being Department 56, I'm going to scream this the whole video. There's going to be detail everywhere you look, including, you know, the insides, deep in the inside. So uh, first you're going to notice is the wood that we talked about earlier. That wood is just unbelievable, even on the inside. And that's what's crazy. Like, I understand detail on the outside, doing a little bit in the inside. But with Department 56, they did everything on the outside, everything on the inside. So that's really neat. Uh, and there's also this, like moss looking stuff that kind of goes all around it uh, on each side. That's really cool. I I've never seen that in any village thing before. And maybe it's common for Department 56. I don't know because I don't have enough of their stuff yet. But on this particular piece, they did use it. And it really sold that old bridge thing. It almost made it feel kind of wet and mildewy and, you know, like algae's growing, that kind of stuff. So Really cool between that, the awesome light, and the detail inside. This thing is really the full package. Okay, so it's clear that I absolutely love this piece. You know, if you have the space for it, definitely, definitely don't ever hesitate on picking yourself up one because it's absolutely fantastic. You know, like I mentioned earlier, there's a workaround for the power if you don't have a power supply that'll fit for it, but it does come with the battery pack, so you're pretty much set up. I love it. The detail, you know, you're getting what you pay for on this one. It's worth every dime. There is no soundtrack, but on this one, you will not miss it. It is just top, top bridges of all bridges so far that I've discovered. So I love it. I'd love to see some other brands do stuff like this as well. But anyways, okay, I've rambled on enough. I'm going to go ahead and hit the lights. Thank you to our sponsor, Weffy's Closet. And most of all, thank you to all of you for continuing to support my channel. And please. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.